Hi, my name is Zoe. I'm a second year in the welding program. So welding is three different types of processes of fusing metal together. The different processes help with different thicknesses of metal. So we learn the basics and the introduction into welding and you start with stick welding and then you improve upon there. And then you learn oxy fuel cutting, how to use the torches, basic uh, PPE safety. My first year of the welding program, I learned stick welding, and so I got my certifications for stick and 3G. And then second year, you get to experience a little bit more with like MIG, TIG, learning what you actually want to do when you graduate the program. So you can get your 3G and 4G certifications in stick, MIG, and TIG. And then you can get 6G certifications for pipe welding. And then in TIG, we learn you can get started for aluminum, steel, and stainless steel. And then I'm do dual enrollment with MCC so you can take that if you want to pursue like college based stuff with welding and there's not a lot of homework stuff that we have to do at EVA like there is at your regular school and it's more like fun to be here because it's something you actually want to do and so it's not like a hassle to come to EVA it got me closer to doing what I wanted to do and being in the field of like cars welding all that has always like been something I liked and so when I picked welding it was a lot easier because I'll start here and then I'll just get to go out into the field or I can choose to do college. I would like to go out into the field and hopefully be a aerospace TIG welder. I'd like to work on like uh, army bases and building aircraft carriers for them and then I'm hoping by the time I'm like 2021 I can open my own business and like weld for other people. If you like to do stick welding, you could do pipe, there's fabrication welding. I have a buddy who's gonna weld pre-runners and like Baja vehicles. MIG comes with just about anything. I know some people who build like big steel fences, big steel poles for like housing and buildings. TIG is aerospace. There's, there's a lot of opportunities that you can get. So last year when I first started and I was a first year, I was a little nervous that it was gonna be weird because I am a female, but I've actually met some of like the most supportive teenage boys I could ever be around. And I think the social aspect is great. Even with the other programs like auto, diesel, they're all super ki cool kids too. Everyone's really supportive of what other people wanna do and it makes you actually want to do something that's a little out of the ordinary for a girl, but like, People are super supportive of it and there's like all the instructors are super like helpful about getting jobs and stuff like that. So if you're strong enough to know that it's something you want to do, I think it's not that bad. And I support every female that would like to be a welder or do anything that's in the male dominant jobs. Most of the people that I know in here who weren't sure about welding at first have automatically like loved it and I feel like if it's something you want to do, just try it and you'll like it. Everybody that I know like loves being here. I actually came in here not knowing anything, but if you have support or help or you're just excited to try, you can learn anything, literally anything. <laughs> So we have four instructors in this class and they're all super supportive. They've all came from different backgrounds, TIG, stick, whatever, they've all done it all. They're amazing instructors. They're able to incorporate things that they had learned before into helping me. And it's a lot easier to learn from people who already know what you're trying to learn too. I think it is a great program for anybody who wants to be a welder. Even if you're female or male, doesn't matter what you are, you should come join this program if welding is something that interests you.